Hello everyone, welcome back and you're in the kitchen. Thank you for coming and today I'm going to be showing you how I make my chicken stew with potatoes and coconut milk. And kindly check the description box below. I have some chicken and I did leave the bones in the chicken and I cut them up to curry size which are some small pieces. Once I've done that, I place them into a dish with some water, some salt and some lemon juice. Massage them well and leave them to soak for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I wash them well, try to get most of the water out, place them into your dish and it's time to season. Here I add some salt. I'm also going to be adding some black pepper. Also some paprika. And some cubes. And also some minced garlic. Once I do this, I'm going to go in and give it a good massage. You want to massage this well, making sure that every piece of chicken gets the seasoning on it. Now I'm going to go in and use some of my very own green seasoning that I made. And I'm going to rub this in well. I did post a video on the green seasoning guys. Now I'm going to set this chicken aside to marinate until I'm done chopping up the rest of my seasonings. Here I have my Vidalia Chop Wizard and just to make my life easier guys I'm just chopping my onions. This does the work perfectly fine for me guys. Once I chop my onions I would place them aside and then do the tomatoes. This is just another way of finishing quickly guys. This is what you call quick work. So now that I've finished cutting the tomatoes, I have these scallions or chives, some celery, onions. I also have some tomatoes. And I'm now going to add to the rest of the seasoning some fine leaf thyme. And as I work along, I'm going to show you the rest of the ingredients. Now over medium heat, I place a pan. And once I place this pan, I'm going to add some oil. And once the oil gets hot, guys, I'm going to start frying the onions. You want to fry the onions for about one minute or until they turn translucent. Now I'm going to add the rest of the seasonings and the tomatoes. So you want this to cook for about two minutes. So after two minutes of frying, here I'm going to be adding some tomato paste and let this cook for another minute just before I add the chicken.
So now it's time to add the chicken. So once I add this chicken, guys, I'm just going to make sure I go in and add the potatoes. And you can cut the potatoes to your likeness. You can cut them bigger than this. That's all right. I just choose to dice them. And I'll just stir so that everything is evenly combined in the pot. Look at all this goodness, guys. And I haven't placed the coconut milk as yet. And this is smelling so good. It is looking so good. You just wouldn't believe. So I'm going to place the cover over this pot over very low heat and let this cook for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, this is what my stew looks like and it's not finished. This is the juices from the chicken, guys, and this is the goodness that you're looking for. I'm going to give it a good stir. And after this, it is time to add the rest of the ingredients. So now I'm going to be adding a generous amount of onion flakes. This is just for flavoring. Now I'm also going to be adding some pimento seeds along with some brown sugar, just a little touch. This is just my secret ingredient and some coconut milk. If you see anything lumpy coming out of that coconut milk that I'm pouring, know that it is the coconut fat because I had this in the refrigerator. So I'm going to be stirring. And while you stir, guys, you want to taste to make sure that you get the right flavor. So after tasting the pot, I realized I wanted some more flavor in here. So I've decided to add two more cubes. I crushed them, placed them in here, then just give it a good stir. And I let this cook again for another five minutes. So I'm going to be mixing this well. And I'm so satisfied with the flavor that I got. Now I'm going to add a little table pepper just so that it can steam. And after five minutes, this is what my chicken stew looks like, guys. It's not burnt. The coconut milk is so thick that everything just stuck to the bottom of the pan, and that's all right. So now you can serve this stew with anything of your choice, ground provisions, some white rice, some rotis, and that's all right. I choose to serve mine with white rice, some fried rice plantains, some very hot sauce that I did make, and some cucumber. And if you like this video, guys, kindly give it a thumbs up. Press that subscribe button. Also press the notification bell to be notified when I upload another video. Thank you for coming in the kitchen with Lynn. I will see you in my next video.